Welcome back to Vincent's Bike Ride. It's 5 to 10 in the morning on, a, on Saturday, I think the 20th of February. This is where I camped just behind me. That's right there by that tree. And um, yeah, going to leave the campsite here in Russell. It's one of those not so nice places to camp in the morning because Someone had to crank their radio up, of course. It didn't really bother me too much. It was at about eight o'clock and I was up anyway. But yeah, one of those. Everything's all strapped on. Hi, mate. God willing. There's a school group here in this area to my right. Hopefully they had a good time. Just slide through the gate. Oh, you know, this bike is not playing up. And it's getting worse. It really is. I'm worried it's going to break. Really am. The start of the journey is about a four and a half to five kilometer ride to Russell. And I did it yesterday. Go get a few bits and bobs from the supermarket and it's terrible. It's really, really steep. And it's a frustrating one where you go up this hill here and then you go down into another little dip and then up a really steep hill. Which of course, you have to do it that way. Now my bike is just jumping gears. It's not, well not jumping gears, it's just doing this weird clunk and I have no transmission. Like I pedal and there's nothing there for just a split second, but oh, it's, it's a horrible feeling. It makes a clunk noise as well. I'm worried it's that there are free wheel skipping. Like, I don't know. Started doing it yesterday and it's getting worse. Last night I oiled the transmission trying to hopefully see if hopefully it was just a dry transmission, but it's already started to do it again already now. So nope. The bike is broken. But we'll press on. I mean, if it gets unrideable, well, we'll deal with that when we get there. Now, I've actually got keys in my pocket and they're really in a horrible place, sorry. So if I pull over in a second, it's just uh, trying to move them. They're just jabbing into my leg. Should put them into my front bag here. We'll see how that goes. Oh, well. It's one thing with cycling, I don't know how it is for other people, but for me, everything has to be just so, comfort wise. Like, I'm not talking about the bike, like setting that up, like in your seat height and angle and everything just spot on and handlebar angle. So I have mine set up just how I like it. After all these years, I should at least know how to do that. Having my brake levers, they're just bent in slightly. And it's just so much more comfortable like that. And um, yeah, everything's set up right, but what I'm talking about is my clothing. I get, when I put my shoes on, I always make sure there's not even a speck of anything in them. That's be perfectly clean. My socks have to be tight. Pulled on hard and tight. And then that's 
you know, I go through a little process every day of getting my shoes and socks on. I know it's silly, but just so it feels good, it feels comfortable at all times. I don't, well, ideally I don't think about it, I don't notice it. And that's the idea of it really, is to make it so that it is not a, it's not a problem. I mean, sorry, let me start again. It's not that it's a problem, it's to make it so I don't know about it, I don't consider it. The only thing I can't get comfortable with is the helmet. The, yeah, I don't like wearing it. I mean, it's good now because it carries a camera. Otherwise, they're just a horrible, uncomfortable thing on top of my head. I'd much rather wear a comfortable hat. Something better for keeping the sun out as well, not with big holes in it. For some strange reason, in New Zealand, they've decided this is compulsory to wear a helmet. I mean, not many other countries, well, to be honest, the only country I know that also has that is Australia. Which is another authoritarian country. Or a nanny state, as they sometimes call them now. I guess calling them authoritarian is too aggressive. So people call them a nanny state. Well, the government just just controls every little thing they can, taking away every little freedom they can. Oh, there goes my bike scares again. Oh, that's gone again. This feels really bad, like unrideable bad. I'm very, very worried this could be the end of the ride. These guys in Wangarei might have been wrong about how. Oh man, this is bad. How much life's left in this bike? Like I'm scared to put any strength into the pedals. Well, this is the first not very big hill. Then you go down to the really big hill. Because reasons. That was a big skip. Oh, I can't ride this. I literally cannot ride my bike. Oh, bugger. I'm gonna stop recording now because this might be the end. I can't ride up hills. That was just so much skipping going on. Oh man, this is horrible. I don't know what to do. I can't get parts in New Zealand. That's the main problem in New Zealand is you can't buy parts. I'd have to order them from overseas. You order parts in New Zealand, it'll take you know, months. You get them from overseas, it takes a week and a half. I honestly don't know what to do. Oh well, I'll turn off now. This is a boring road anyway. I'm so gutted. I am utterly, utterly gutted. Goodbye. Well, I'm back. It's only a few minutes later. I just pushed my bike up that hill. I just thought I'd show you this downhill section because at least I can roll down that. Sorry if I sound massively deflated, but I am massively deflated. I mean, 
I think this is the end of the road. I really do. But yeah, this is the road I had to go. I went down yesterday into town. Came back up this hill. It was really, really irritating coming down this initially going, oh, come on, man. <laughs> and I didn't mention, I did mention earlier, this is the first one. There's another one. Of course, it's got the big bumps there. So, yeah. From here, you go back up a hill. Because, of course you do. This one's not as big though, I don't think. Yep, yeah, it's skipping already. First time I've put a ring. Yep, it's going. I can't pedal. I cannot pedal. You can hear it. It's just. I can't pedal. Man. I can roll down hills, but I can't go up a hill. I can, no, can't even go along a flat. There's just no drive anymore. This makes massive clunk noises. It doesn't go forward. I'd love a ride if you could give me one. My bike's dead. I thought there was a bigger hill here. Maybe there's one around the corner. It's still another kilometer or so. You can just hear it, it's just clattering around. Oh yeah, this is where the hill is, the other side of this. A little dip. Oh no. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> My head's not in it right now. So, what to do? I've barely gone a flat. Now yeah, it's game over, I'm afraid. Man. Hello. So you most likely hear these gears, of course. Whatever it is. But... <laughs> That's just, every that clank is, I can't pedal. That's just the gear or the back wheel or the wheel going free like this. Nothing to pedal, it's just a clunk in it. I mean the chain rings are all okay. A little in good condition. You know, as I said I oiled them. This is a very light load now going up this hill, so I'm in the lowest possible gear and I can do it. Man. This is such a sad way to end this ride. It's the first time I've not finished a ride as well. I've always got there in the end.
got to find the ferry. Ferries at 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. There's a ferry every 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this is goodbye to Russell. Unfortunately, goodbye to the road. So my bike's dead, so I can't ride anymore. We'll get the ferry and over to Pai here. Now I've got to find a way of getting home. So this ride was an epic fail. Can't believe it. Can't believe my bike failed after all these years. I do hope to return once I get my bike repaired it won't be for a long time though first got to get to Hamilton and then find the parts and order the parts then it'll be winter and getting colder and wetter so I think that's it for this summer In the scheme of things, this is very trivial. It's just a bike ride. But it's a fail. It destroys me.
here now. the ferry drive. Oh well, I think I have to take my bags off to get the bike off, so goodbye. So here we are in Pai Hia. My bike, my now non-functioning bike. Made a phone call and I managed to find someone to come pick me up. So this is it, end of Vincent's bike ride. Epic failure. All those miles this bike's done. And I'm stuck here. Going nowhere. So I'm now going to be sitting here for the six or seven hours, I guess, waiting. And the person's going to pick me up and we're just going to drive straight back. He's doesn't want to um, spend the night off with the pay for a hotel for him if he wanted that but no, he's, he just wants to head straight back which works for me I, I'm so over it as you can imagine but I'll be back we have this bike running again We'll try again another day. As I said on the ferry, it most likely won't be till late this year, I guess, when the um, cold weather ends. I'm thinking I might just come straight to here, to Pai here, and basically start from here. I will see what happens. It's a long way away. I'm so, so gutted. But to fail a ride. But something as trivial as a mechanical failure, man. Especially you can't just can't get parts in New Zealand. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short journey. If you want to see any of my other rides I've done, I've only done them as a written blog. As um, but you can see it at Vincent's Bike Ride dot wordpress.com that's vincent's bike ride dot wordpress dot com goodbye i hope to see you again one day